locked up in the Tower of London. I love history, especially when I had the chance to look around dark, damp old dungeons and check out gruesome stuff like torture chambers and... Well, you get the idea. So here I am at the Tower of London. My uncle's a beef eater, one of the special yeoman warders. He's always telling me about the famous prisoners at the Tower, so I've come on a tour to check the place out for myself. One of my uncle's favourite stories is about Guy Fawkes. He was a prisoner here over 400 years ago. He's the reason we have bonfires and fireworks on the 5th of November. I love fireworks. His plan was to blow up the House of Lords during the state opening of Parliament on the 5th of November 1605 and kill the King, James I. But he was found out before he could carry out the plan and was imprisoned at the Tower before he was executed in a really nasty way. That's weird. Looks like there's a flickering fire in the grate over there. Hmm. I wonder. Perhaps Guy Fawkes wants us to find out more. Your name, sir? My name is John Johnson. John Johnson? Ha! That's Guy Fawkes, all right. My uncle told me he gave his captors a fake name to start with, and that would have made a big impression whatever name he chose. And I can see why. He's massive, really tall and strong, with a big bushy red beard. Doesn't look scared at all. And the names of your friends, the ones with whom you plotted this evil act to kill our king. The charge will be treason. I shall say no more. For all your religious conviction, it seems you are only too happy to cause harm and to smile whilst you're at it. You don't seem very sorry to be here at all, Mr. Johnson. I'm only sorry I was interrupted. Ha! <laughs> You're so proud of your evil schemes. You won't be silent for long. Well, we shall see if the Privy Council can loosen your tongue. The sooner you find the words, the more lenient your treatment shall be. Think on. Guy Fawkes was tortured to get him to confess and give up the names of his fellow conspirators. He certainly didn't make things easy for himself, though. Who do you plot with? Why do you speak in Spanish? What other plots do you have? I will tell you nothing. What was your plan? To blow the lot of you to kingdom come! Bring the rack! Uh-oh. The rack's like the worst kind of torture. When he was finally brought to trial, he pleaded he was not guilty. But all the records show that he was pretty proud of what he'd done. You have been found guilty of high treason. At the King's order, you are to be executed on Tower Hill, and your remains sent to all four quarters of the kingdom. Ew! I don't think I even want to know how they're going to do that. From that day, the King ordered that there should be celebrations every 5th of November to remember how close he had come to calamity and to celebrate peace. It started the tradition of having bonfires and fireworks, just like we do today. Sometimes, we think of Guy Fawkes as a bit of a hero. It's easy to forget that what he did would be called terrorism today, trying to blow up a building and hoping that people were killed. But no one should be tortured like that. Otherwise, maybe we're just as horrible as the criminal. What do you think? i better catch up with the tour. Catch you later. Locked up in the Tower of London with support from historic royal palaces. Find out more at funkidslive.com tower.